Yeah. When people think Boyer of bodybuilding, they think of the whole time being spent on weights. Is this entirely all that's involved in the sport? Well, if, actually, if you want to be successful at it, uh, it doesn't, you know, go in the fact that the more time you spend in the gym, the better you'll be. You know, most people assume that if a little training, you know, makes a tremendous change in the body, then a lot of training or more training will improve you that much more, and that's not necessarily so at all. There is a lot involved in the preparation for a physique contest, but the training to provide the stimulus for muscle growth which is uh, a, a very important part of it, but it's still a very small part of it. There's a lot of other aspects involved as well. Mike, although you are now retired, describe, say, your typical training program prior to, say, a competition. What do you put yourself through? Well, I would start approximately 12 weeks before the contest, depending upon my condition. And each one of the weeks leading up to the contest, the training would become actually briefer and more intense. Uh, and probably the last week before the show, Believe it or not, I wouldn't train at all. I would rest up, uh, try to get myself together mentally, lay in the sun, go over my posing routine, and so forth. How, how big? Okay, back over to the multi machine for chins. On to the upper body here. You'll be using 70 pounds and aiming for 10 repetitions. For some reason, this exercise is always hard after legs. Well, it's another big muscle nerve for one time. Yeah. Almost like an upper body squat. <coughs> body composition is still changing for the better. You're, I can see literally every fiber in your back when you do that exercise. Everyone? Well, maybe a, a few obscure ones. Okay. 90%. No, seriously, your, your body fat levels must be just about as low as they've ever been. Think get down to Clarence Bass's? <laughs> sea bass? Yeah. You can write your own book. I was reading in a new muscle magazine, and they got another term, beyond ripped. Beyond ripped. Shredded. Shredded. <laughs> and it's diced, mixed. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, on to the 10 degree chest machine. Enough of this levity. This is serious business here. 130 pounds, aiming for 10 repetitions, but by the looks of things, you may get 15, 20, 30, God knows. Well, it was 12 that I closed all the way. All the way we just count 12. Already. Because, you know, too much weight, throw the form off. 180 pounds, 70 degrees shoulder. Last workout, you had eight. I want six.
through this workout in three minutes. That's going to be fast. Decline press, 210 pounds. Last workout you had eight. That was an increase in weight, I believe. Also. Yeah, it was. So we wanted to get six. Change your grip in there, you're going a little higher? Or? No, it's the same. Okay. I grabbed it right below uh, those rubber, rubber handles. Okay, Boyer. This is your 63rd workout. 627.83. Last workout was a maintenance workout. So today, full power. One thing we did firmly establish. You are the one and only Boyer Co. Up to about 10,000 times. Huh? So, last workout in your maintenance, you had 12 repetitions, which was up from your last one, even though it wasn't maintenance. So, that's what we're shooting for here. Past 12. Repetition. I don't know. Uh, can you possibly spring out of the back a little harder, or would that hurt your back? Uh, I was, that was as much spring as I had. Okay. Repetitions on your maintenance workout. Same way today. The form was very good the last workout. So let's see if we can keep that same technique and increase those reps. Last one was a little questionable, but I'm going to give you the 10. 